Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. We got the King, Mr. King Chez. How are we doing today, sir? It's an absolute pleasure to be here, as always. Yeah, we got the, it's a it's a non-competitive season, so uh, Chez uh, has been doing some uh, different stuff over on the Council Discord, where people are giving him ideas for cards, and uh, people wanted to see you guys love Nilf guards, so we got you some Swarm uh soldiers that uh, someone requested over on the council discord um it works out pretty well it uh it it has some tough matchups though right yeah for sure um so like this was a bit of a passion project for mine um for those of you who have been around since beta gwent you know that uh myself and saber were the og uh soldiers form players back in open beta um we popularized that deck and i actually actually ended up winning the final season of Rank Ladder with, uh, with that deck and um, taking down Cola Moen on the final day. So that was pretty cool. Um, so Soldiers is, is my favorite deck of all time, um, Soldier Nilfgaard. So to get a play around with it a bit was really fun. Um, like you said, it's got a couple of bad matchups. Um, Monsters is an amazing, overwhelming hunger. Uh, Wearcat hurts a lot and they've just got lots of points. Skellige Warriors is also pretty rough because they kill most of your things. But outside of that, it's got some good matchups. It, it's good into Nature's Gift. It's good into most of the Nilfgaard decks. Um, and it's also not too bad against Shield Ball. So if you're facing those decks, this might be something you want to try out. Yeah, because it, it kind of stays low to the ground, so the the dueling guys don't really get it that exactly, great of a right. it, so. and, and you can deal with their scary engines with like your, your Yen, your Leader, your Heat Wave, so you can get through the, the Defender and then shut down... Well, steal one of their engines, which is huge. Like stealing an Anana is so many points for you. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's like it's quite a good matchup into them. And in the long range, you just have more points as long as you've got a good hand. So yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, and it 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 can put in a lot of points. Um, you know, and you do have I, I I mentioned this when we were talking before, and you you do like this uh, brigade and hunting pack on Vigo for thinning. It, it, I, I like yeah, it. it. It just helps you draw your golds, man. I mean, it's yeah, it serves, serves multiple purposes, right? It helps you draw your golds. It's a power play, which is really nice, and it it empowers your other cards, right, on your bone talismans and stuff. So it's just like Vigo's MVP of this deck. I think Vigo and and Ramon really helped this. Like without those two, this deck wouldn't wouldn't be viable. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the the crossbowmen are kind of like bait. I mean, if you don't draw your soldiers for some weird reason you know you could go crossbowmen but you know you're mostly just playing these out of hand for you know the value plays if they if they sure. go through no big deal but yeah you want to get the darlings make sure you always put the darlings to the right of ramon so that you can keep spawning with uh you know uh frag you, you don't mess up well, you don't mess up the pocket for Vi Vigreff if you play them to the right yeah sure. yeah so make sure you do that and try to stack on melee um because you got uh, you can overswarm and you got stuff that is rowlocked vanimar um tris stuff like that you might even be able to get a magni going for a while so um for sure just keep an eye on your rows because they can get filled up pretty quick with uh the amount of stuff we got going on but um Mr. Chez, thank you for recording, sir. Uh, I, I mentioned it at the at the end of the video as well, but I'll put a link to the uh, council Discord. Uh, lots of good stuff going on there with uh, you, Saber, Radu, Gorflow. Good stuff over yeah. there, man. Um, deck deck That's sharing. Lots of uh, you know, cool people there just hanging out. You know, and uh, it's always good to just BS Gwent. You know, when you're not playing Gwent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you for recording. Here's a couple games, guys. We'll see you at the end. Decision strike or some gift, please. Oh yeah. shit! Oh, but we're on the bad I point. I shall make Nilfgaard great. Ah, if we can get out, it's okay. I think. All right. Kick the brick first, huh? Yep. Let's kick the brick. Did we drop the hunting pack as well? I think you kicked the hunting pack for sure. Question is, do you kick the? Other thinning card. I think you probably do kick the other thinning card. The brigade? Yeah, I think so. We are a no unit friend sort of here. So we just go Magni back row, huh? Yeah. He jousts it? He might. 
locks it. That's good for us. So we f we fish for the brigade, right? There Not just are. yet. We want him to put a status on his side of the board first, I think. Probably just joust that. Lock friend. So he's for sure running ball. Master of disguise. I shall relieve him of all. So we joust that too. Could be a lamp. We might just pass. Sad. Doesn't give us. A if he doesn't give us a status this turn, I think we probably just pass. If he gives us a status, we just jam the Vigo, because then we're almost guaranteed to then. Right, I think we just pass. We could jam the Vigo, but... If you want to get the for sure, either status or soldier is what you're going for, basically. Yeah, essentially, like you want to have both of them online in round one. If you if you take this line where you mulligan away all your thinning cards, you want to only play Vigo when you've got both online, so that you like it's almost guaranteed that you thin. Heat waves good for defender, defender. Jeez, what do we play? This, I mean, we have it all, right? But. I think you mulligan your Vigrant. Oh, you've Vreamed. The vreamed boy. I get rid of him. Stay here or mulligan it? I think you mullet. Mata. Okay. Sounds a little good. So if he is a, is a defender ball friend, okay. So we yoink that defender the ball? Yep. There's order! Seems fair. Yep. It gives him an out, I guess. Now he canterellas and we cry. <laughs> I mean, we've got leader. True. Thing. An arrow into. Oh. No. Living armor, so he's a mill friend. So what do we do with that? We heat wave that, huh? I mean, that's an insane leader target for us, I think. I think he's going for those flip cards. Where he play... That's fine. I think you just play Ramon here. Like He's not passing after that play, I don't think, so you just jam your Ramon. Play around the pikemen, huh? No, no, we want to go front row. We might overswarm, yeah. right? You want to go... Yeah, yeah, for sure. the yet again. Now he passes. We laugh. If you pass here, you probably just play matter, because I think we've got everything. I think we got the nuts. Well... Oh, that's only nine. Okay. What do you play? Tourney Joust. Or do we threaten to stay up? Do we keep our card? Well, we keep it no... Because we fill his hand back to seven, then, if we play it. No, no, you play the, um... You play thing here. The Dela, sure. Like, we've got a card, man. Like, at any point we want, we can just leader his thing. And, like, now we've got last say as well, so it's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to see where he's going with this living armor thing. Aguara, really? What? So now he wants to play another master of disguise. We just 
we just play the Rygef, huh? Yeah, that seems fine. So Jamie don't have a talisman here, but yeah, you play the bike. You will take the front yet again. You all will be. Still looking for that status, huh? Yeah. Oh, we got Brigade. I think you play. Yeah, I think you play your Vigo next, most likely, if he carries on. Like. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Now Vigo will wall thin for us, which is huge. The senses can be fooled easily. See, it's so good. Yeah, I'm curious to see, like, even if even if he goes for the 2-0, like. I mean, there's nothing you can do with him. He's done. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Love this art on this, though. One of my favorite arts when it came out, man. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a cool card. For sure. Really? So he has Vincent as well. Mr. I mean, it almost just doesn't matter what he's got now. So we play our Mata? Uh, you... Or just drop the Triss? Probably just Mata front row here. Don't need it for anything. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. No, I want to give him another tourney joust. Yeah, we don't want to give him anything bad so that he can just lead us with, right? So. Right. So he leaders that. Yeah, I knew that's what he was going for. These alchemist cards. I mean, does it even matter though? No, <laughs> I don't think so. You just keep with the Aguara, I guess. Oh, well, that means he's got ball. He was, he was happy. I mean, ball does nothing against that, right? Like, we just stay so low that it doesn't really affect us too badly. Like, it's obviously quite a lot of points, and he's, like, obviously happy to see the heat wave, but, like, he lost a card for it, so. Right. Oh, we got Defender, too. Uh... Is this the hand? Thank you, Mulligan Defender. better. The only thing better here is probably the soldiers. What's left in deck? Uh, one talisman, the brigade, runestone. So the two brigades are better, the thing's the same. Ah, uh, you could take this mall on the talisman, honestly. I can see it. Okay, that's probably slightly worse, but it's okay. Just play its soldiers and, yeah, do some... Do some stuff. Uh, front row? Oh, I went front row. Oh, because of Triss, huh? Yeah, I mean, we're just going to swarm a bit too much. but not, not, like, too much, but, like, it's just safer, I think, to go mm. front. But it's fine. Just go talisman. Now what do we Not do? talisman. Uh, runestone, sorry. Just go runestone. Ew. Nothing's getting spying. What? Oh no, it will. The usurper, right? Mm-hmm. So that's a six. It's fine. Front. That's a nice yeah, he might be a tre treason friend. I think we always play usurper last though, right? It's the biggest mm -hmm. target for him. So now Well, we kind of want to play Trist last, right? Because you get plus three on Trist by playing. First, but it's fine. What is this ridiculous law he's devised? You just play what's his name now. Green. It's not getting, it's not getting better. I guess in theory he could be better if we leaded his um usurper and played our own usurper. It gives us plus two on green. No, I think you just play green there. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe you don't. Just want to play the Triss? Look for a yoink? No, 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 no. I think you play Usurper here. 
because realistically we can never hold this usurper as our last card because we have to play it before Triss. So we might as well just play it now. Can he yoink him now with if he plays? No. Oh yeah, he can. He can. Well, no, yeah, he can. Not unless he's playing Mandrake. Yep, that interaction works. Oh, he goes Ox. So uh, he missed his Witch Trio. Sometimes I've had about enough. Sure. Think now. Uh, do you leader his usurper now? He kills ours. I don't think so. I think you just play Brint. Can we use it on the soldiers or no? It's only soldiers, no, huh? Yeah. Use it on the uh, Dela. Probably go front. Spread your units. In case he's running on the last rate or something. What is this guy? Last... Be... This guy could easily be running some. Oh last fuck! We steal that, right? We can't let that through, right? All is in place. We have. Can to... also just you could go Triss here. If you get Jax, that's fine. If you get, you can just go Triss here. See what you get. But worst case scenario, you're missing. You just chose that. A Rideau friend? What? Alright, so he kills our six, we kill his six. He can't, he's played his V his dude. He's already played his one enough. I guess we like Vincent. Can Vincent, it. yeah. Oh it does reset, he pulls them back. Oh no, they have to have spying. Oh, he just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. GG's. Oh. That was a weird one. Yeah, that was a weird deck, for All sure. Right. All right. 14 point catalan. It's okay. That's Another bad. One. Oh. I mean, it's going to be a long day for But Hunger, I think. Hunger's a bad, quite a bad matchup. You got the good coin. Um, we dropped the bricks. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Do we play the Magni back row? Uh, uh, front row, huh? Because of the lamp? Doesn't, doesn't matter here. If he maroonas it? Oh, uh, we're pretty happy if he maroonas Redwood, I think. But yeah, play yeah, front row so that he doesn't play for more value, for sure. Makes sense. Unless he plays back row. No, you just play front row. Magni front row. And then, see what's what. You should never take this marooner. He might. Which would be really good for us. Like it's a massive overcommitment from him on blue point. So if he's, he's running the larvas, him. he's running. Uh... Oh, he got his trigger. Okay. That's way worse for us. It's actually pretty awkward. You have to play the joust here, I think, on one of his larvas, and then hope that he plays the status next turn. Sure, what status he would play, but hopefully he plays me. The froglet. Flip the lamp. Not yet. Shit. Huh? So we have to go a soldier, huh? Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Yeah, there's no play. It's kind of just beat the airline. He plays the Andriga Warrior. He gets four, five. I guess if we can get our thinning out, that'd be okay. Kinda, yeah. Bloomerd. Now he flips the lamp. Not yet. Do we just go brigade, stay stacked? Yeah, I think brigade's fine. Like, we could also pass here and give him a brick foggler, but I think it's better for us to thin for ourselves first. Yeah, two bricks, and I already drew them once. <laughs> I mean, they're not bricks, right? Like, they're fine. Right. It's only the other ones that are the bricks. Ah. Oh, wow. 
I mean, super happy that we played another okay. card. Huh? I'm just passing that. It's fine. This time we've actually got our heat wave ready for his uh... haunt on the bleed. Which makes a big difference. Yeah, I think, I think I... we messed up last time. We should have just passed when we had the pass rather than let him do the consume plus leader trick. But it's fine. Drop the Magni again and the Brick. Yeah, kick the ma uh, the Brick first. Kick the Brick first. Uh, I guess you kick the Magni, because if he moons that, it would be really sad. Ooh. Okay, I mean this hand sort of works. It's not great, but it does work to a certain extent. So we just matter? Yeah, it doesn't feel... Feel great, but because essentially what happens when we matter is he plays another card. Could honestly just matter front row. It's a little risky. So what are we missing? What are we missing? Here? Need to know. Like I don't know how much consistency we need yet. We miss uh, we're missing pop and kills, and uh, I don't think you can matter front row. Just matter yeah. back row. Yeah. Like if we matter back row, though, we're in exactly the same spot. He just plays whatever we draw in, most likely. But yeah, go matter back row. Maybe he drops one. Like, he drops one here. It's good for us because at least then we know that he's committing to the round and we can play our heat wave um, right. and stuff. But, like, if he just plays that 4P card we drew him, like, this matter to achieve nothing. Oh, it drew his yeah. brick. <laughs> oh, shit. So what, so what the matter did achieve here is we know that he's just going to pass next. And the problem is, is we actually have to do seven points. And all these cards are part of the combo. I think you just drop the Ramon and feel sad about it. Yeah, so the matter was just like a really bad play there from us, but... Like, because we could have just dropped the Ramon first and not thinned his deck for him, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure we win the long round anyway, so... Yeah, he hasn't played Maruna. He used his Cat, which is good. Uh, we're stacking wrong now, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh, he just passed. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I mean, obviously Roman's a really good card, but we've got two sets of Dare Lands left. No, did we play Dare Lands round one? We did, didn't we? Ah, this is kind of bad. Yeah, we didn't have anything proactive to play. Yeah, that's not great. Kick the Magni. We need the Dare Lands not to get yoinked. So we are missing Vigo, and Vigo is very good. I think you kick the Hunting Pack, maybe? Yeah, probably. Hey, there he is. We stop. Okay, we just keep this. Yeah, yeah we keep this hunt as good as it's gonna get. Oh, we're missing Van Hamar. Which is a big deal, but nothing we can do about it. Like, I'm not sure what I would have mulliganed here. Probably the talisman, second talisman. So we're going it's fine. front row now? Yeah, front row with your foot soldier first. Then hopefully he doesn't steal or kill these, and then we can go Van uh, Vigraf. And then we probably go for Van. Uh, then we go for Vigo. If he steals one of these, we probably have to go Vigo straight away and hope to find Dalean. Dalean's actually better than Hunting Pack here if he steals or if he kills here, because it empowers our, our Vigraf as well. Must also add Vigraf and our rings, So he might, he might be short on. No, he didn't really play any Death Wish units. He only played two, and two of them were the. Well, three of them, because the Foglet's played separately. Okay, so he's Devotion, which is probably okay for us. He takes the Haunt. So, did he play any big boys yet? Nope. Do we let it go through? Or do we brag if... So, if we Heat Wave this, it's playing for about 12 points. 
think we can just let it go through. I'm pretty sure we'll get a heat wave. That's... Ah, but the problem is, is will we get a heat wave and a yen of similar value? Because we have yen as well. We need to have two tall punishes that are worth the range. I think we're probably okay. I think you can probably let it go through. I think you play the Vigraph just to be safe for us, because we really need to play this Vigraph. Like, if he starts stealing these, we're really sad, so I think you play this to save for us. If he doesn't play a Death Wish unit this turn, we probably just end up heat waving the, the Haunt next. I'm sure he drops it. Because, realistically... We're probably our heat wave and our yen are probably going to play for around ten to twelve point mark anyway. Really, he drops it that early. I mean, it's probably okay for him. Like it's round three, right? So it's like there's no point in holding it. He used the leader charge too. No, he's got full leader. I thought I'd seen him. Yeah, he went for it. Already. I mean, that's okay for us. So now um, we go Vigo. Yeah, Vigo's good now. You know, he probably played Vigo back row, because we're not going to overfill now. Yeah, Vigo back row seems fine. And what do we grab? The hunting pack? Either the hunting illusion. pack, or oh, we missed both. That's so bad. Missed hunting pack and Daleland. You have to take crossbowman. That's really bad. That was such a low roll. That's like super, super unlikely. Um, that's a lot of points we lost there. Oh, really loads of points, but it's okay. Like, Maybe that costs us a game, but there's not a lot we can do about it. That was a super low roll. Yeah, we miss hunting pack. Because Dale Lands are essentially an 11 point play that's an extra body, and hunting packs. Uh, oh, well, that worked out. 12 point play that's two extra bodies. So, Dale Lands. This played for oh, this played for three. He saves the charges. Fine. So we just boost them now? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Back row. Victory! Yep. That's not too bad. Ah, uh, that Vigo is going to cost us, I think. Yeah, it's what? That lost three, so, four, for five, three. six, seven. It lost seven I, points. I played for four. Brux up. Well, that's good. He's dropping some low stuff now. Yeah, I played for seven instead of... So we go... Instead of 14. We go Usurper now, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, there's no other play here, right? You just play the usurper, seems good. Force Brigade, follow me! We're tied. We're killing a 7 and a 10 currently. I mean, we're probably winning here, but. Oh, I feel so bad about that Vigo. That Vigo cost us somewhere between like 7 and. 12 points, something like that, so, because of all these talismans. To me, did he just play this all backwards, or am I just... like? I mean, he's, have... yeah, he's not sequenced correctly, I don't think. Like, Yeah, he's definitely not sequenced correctly. He's supposed to get his Brooks down in first, and then start to so run So we this. go Triss to try and save this? Uh, yeah, you can go Triss here. Could also lead it here, but like realistically, he hasn't played any tall units yet. I think we're okay to keep going. Plus, we kind of want him to consume with that thing. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. If everything stays on the board, we keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Playing for 11, these talismans are. Unless we lead her, and then it's 12. So these talismans are 11, 12 point plays. But like, if we'd have hit Vigo correctly, they would be playing for yeah, another lost. three points. So we lost nine points by not hitting the hunting pack on just that plus then the bodies of the actual points. Right. And then if we hit the dare lands, we lost six points plus the four points Swirl. from yeah, see, he's... Vigra. That reamed. I mean, yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah. Do we just do it jamming. again or do we, we... We still wait for the big one, right? He might still have a ghoul yet. Right. Yeah, yeah, you want to do... The problem is, is that we might actually play into uh, is Geralt here in a minute, because um, dude's going to go to 
nine next one. But we played this one for sure. This one gets played. 100%. And then, you, I mean, you have to play the other one, but it kind of sucks because this uh, dude's going to actually go into Geralt range, and he's almost certainly running a Geralt the way he's playing this. Thing is, is if you get a long run with this deck and you beat most things, like it's got a Yeah, see, I would have started Bruxa, Plumber, this, mm -hmm. and then went into all the, the wildness. Mm -hmm. So we just do it so, again? Or do we. No, I think you wait now. I think now you start waiting. So I think now you just like yen his 10. Yen 10. Yeah, yen the 10. We're probably leadering the night race now. The night race is an eight-point leader for us, but not this game. We'll do it when we play our thing. Right. Eight-point leader, which isn't too bad. Like he may, or, like also if he's got Goliath and Geralt in hand, he's gonna have to play the Goliath before the Geralt because we're gonna go Heat Wave next. So, and then that gives us a twelve-point leader. Although it does give him a much better <laughs> Geralt, which is that's an interesting. Dilemma because it actually pulls a card from his deck. Oh, he has to lead to that. He has to lead to that. I guess he's got the consume on board as well. He does not. Oh, I mean, you lead to that. Oh, no, actually, when you lead to that, it dies. Yeah, I found that oh, out the yeah. hard way. <laughs> so we just heat wave that, huh? Yeah, you just heat wave that for sure. So that makes sense why he doesn't do it. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. I understand why he doesn't. Uh, his next, his next card's gonna be Goliath because he's got a dead Geralt in hand, so he's gonna play his Goliath, and then he's gonna be sad because we get our leader in, and he has nothing big left in his deck. Well, doesn't he Geralt the Goliath and get out a bigger card? I mean, what's he gonna get out? Cyclops. Okay, I mean, that's just a bad card from him. Not sure why he's not throwing the three, but. Sure. Um, oh yeah, this one, huh? So we just yeah. grab up the six, huh? No, 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 you have to lead a first, because if you don't lead a first, you give him two extra points on his... So, wait there, so let's work this out, right? If we go leader onto his Night Wraith, the place for eight, we're up by 12, so we're up by 20, and then we play a Talisman for 11, so we're up by 31. I mean, okay, you just lead that night, Noon Wraith, and we're fine. I was just thinking about whether or not giving him the extra point on because this is also going to be Geralt it's going to go to nine so it's actually like one uh, two points better for him on his Geralt and only one point better for us on our thing so it's actually one point worse into Geralt but we beat Geralt anyway so it's fine Good. yep got him okay I mean despite the massive low roll on Vigo we still won by miles so that's good yeah not too bad Mr. Chess that's the thing, like, thanks yep. for recording sir um What's, uh, what's your streaming schedule look like? Uh, my streaming schedule right now is uh, Varied, huh? pretty erratic. Um, like I'm, stream I'm looking to stream every day um, during the week, um, but my time's a bit all over the place. It's normally around like 5 p.m., uh, 6 p.m. CEST or CET now. Um, around that sort of time I'm looking to go live, but it's not like ha hard and fast. Right. Yeah, and then, um, you know, definitely, you guys, uh, I'll put a link for it, uh, the council discord with uh, Radu and Saber, and you've been doing some stuff where you've been taking people's suggestions and trying to optimize cards and stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, I mean, that's where this deck came from, right? Like, it was a suggestion from, from the community, they wanted to see some Nilfgaard Soldier Swarm, so I did my best at building a deck, and I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out, so. Yeah, so if you got some cards maybe that you want to see some play and maybe maybe Chez can give it some tweaks and maybe you can get something viable out of it. So check out mm -hmm. their Discord. Um, if you got any suggestions, Mr. Double Driven, I can always try. Uh, I, I, I just... Favorite I, card or I, I'd like to see the, the Frost stuff get, get going. Like, uh, okay, I well, we can try and make some Frost stuff. I, I, I've all, I, I always liked the movement back in the day when Scoia'tael had, like, you know, um, Ragnarok and white frost right. and everything that was like super fun for me man it was just like playing tic-tac-toe okay. with people's stuff man it, it, when i seen the white frosting i'm like oh but i just i just knew it was going to be too slow but you know i mean monsters sure, I mean, does have some really you know they have yeah big I, tempo. Think, I think i think frost package could be like it's like it's not far off being viable honestly i like i mean it probably is like a similar sort of level as this like soldier deck so i can definitely look into that and try and make it Try and see what I can do with it because I don't think people have played around with it enough yet. 
Like no. The leader ability is actually pretty strong. And yeah. then there's a few powerful cards in there. Like the Winter Queen is actually really strong, and so is Adgate, so Yeah. And I mean you get Oberon, you can you know, get some movement out of that. So the Oberon mm -hmm. movement card plays for seven and then it boosts it. Yeah, so yeah, sure. it's got some mm -hmm. potential. It's just it seems like it's a little bit slow. It's maybe missing like one big card. So yeah, man, see what you can do with it. I'm I'm excited. For sure, uh, maybe I'll be back again sometime with that deck for you. Absolutely, man. You were the first guest on Ladder Leverage. You remember that? Uh, I mean, yeah, a long, long time ago. <laughs> long yeah, yeah, time yeah. ago, dude. But yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you, sir, for recording, man. We appreciate. It's always you. a pleasure. And a pleasure. Uh, definitely check out TeamLeviathanGaming.com. Uh, probably, I don't know what we'll have up soon, but maybe some some decks that'll uh, you know jump in there here that. Uh, weren't in the original so wasubi maybe he'll be typing something up but uh mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time uh -huh. Uh -huh.